Today we're taking a look at Pepperdine vs. Bellarmine match, which is happening on Tuesday, March 23, 2021 at 8 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. A WCC team and an Asun team will face off against each other in the CBI semifinals on Tuesday as the Pepperdine Waves travel to the Ocean Center to take on the Bellarmine Knights. Pepperdine enters this game with a 13-12 record after beating Longwood by 14 points in its last game while Bellarmine enters this game with a 14-7 record after beating Army by 10 points in its last game. This game will start at 8 p.m. EST. Pepperdine has been the definition of an average team all season. The Waves have been hovering within one game of the .500 mark for the majority of the year. They dropped a triple overtime game to UCLA, who just advanced to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament early in the season. Pepperdine was solid in the quarterfinals of the CBI tournament, blowing past Longwood in an 80-66 victory on Monday. The Waves have been solid offensively, listed at number 87 in Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency ratings. They are set to face an awful Bellarmine defense that comes in at number 340 in opponent's effective field goal percentage. Senior guard Colby Ross leads Pepperdine with 18.2 points and 7.5 assists per game. He had a 14.13 assist double-double in Monday's win over Longwood. Junior forward Kessler Edwards is the only other player in double figures, averaging 16.9 points and 6.9 rebounds. He scored 22 points in 26 minutes of action on Monday. Sophomore forward Jan Zedek is adding 9.4 points and 3.5 boards, but he did not play in the quarterfinal. The Bellarmine Knights enter this game in a bit of a slump as they have lost two of their last three games. On the bright side, Ellermine was able to defeat Army yesterday by 10 points in the CBI quarterfinals. In that game, Bellarmine's defense was solid as it only allowed 67 points while forcing the opposition into shooting just 39.3% from the floor and just 24.0% from the three-point line. In addition, the Knights actually trailed by nine points at the half before looking like a completely different team in the final 20 minutes. Now, Bellarmine will be hoping that some of that momentum will carry over into this game. Leading the Knights offensively is junior guard Pedro Bradshaw who is averaging a team-high 15.4 points per game along with a team-high 6.9 rebounds per game. In addition, he is averaging a team-high 1.6 steals per game as he has been extremely impactful on both sides of the ball. Bellarmine's most underrated player is junior guard Dylan Penn who is averaging 13.0 points per game along with a team-high 3.7 assists per game. In addition, he is shooting 51.8% from the floor as he has been extremely efficient offensively up to this point. The Pepperdine Waves booked their spot in the semis thanks to an 80-66 win over Longwood last time out. Kessler Edwards led the Waves in scoring with 22 points on 8 of 13 shooting with a pair of threes and 5 rebounds while Colby Ross and Jade Smith had 14 points apiece with Smith shooting 6 of 12 from the floor with 6 rebounds three assists and a pair of steals while Ross shot 4 of 10 with 5 rebounds and a team high 13 assists with a double-double. Victor Obia Vioja had 13 points on 6 of 9 shooting with 11 rebounds along with a pair of steals and a pair of blocks for his own double-double and Majuk Deng had 11 points with 3 threes and 5 rebounds to cap off the group of double-digit scores as all 5 starters for Pepperdine had at least 11 points in the win. The Bellarmine Knights reached the semis thanks to their 77-67 win over Army last time out. Pedro Bradshaw led the Knights in scoring with 31 points on 8 of 19 shooting with a 14 of 16 mark from the foul line along with 11 rebounds and 3 blocks for the double-double while CJ Fleming had 17 points on 6 of 9 shooting with 5 threes, 4 rebounds and 3 assists. Dylan Penn added 13 points on 6 of 10 shooting with 4 rebounds, a pair of assists and 3 steals to cap off the trio of double-digit scorers for Bellarmine in the victory. So here are my betting suggestion for that game. 
Pepperdine is 12-3-1 ATS in their last 16 games overall and 15-5-2 ATS in their last 22 neutral site games while the over is 4-1 in their last 5 Tuesday games. Bellarmine is 7-3 ATS in their last 10 games following a win and 9-4 ATS in their last 13 games overall while the over is 4-0 in their last 4 games overall. I get why some would question the total with Bellarmine's defensive numbers this season but the Knights also face mostly Osun competition so a high-octane Pepperdine offense may prove tough to contain. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 149.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.